Hello again folks, in tonight's video I'm going to be building this component tester, or as it's normally described, a transistor tester. And despite that name, this device will test most two and three legged components. It will tell you the value of the device, the type of device and the pinup pinout of the device uh, usually. A um, really handy little device to have in the workshop if you've got things lying around you're not quite sure what they are. Pop it in this and it'll tell you what it is. Um, I have had one of these previously and I managed to drop it and smash the screen and it was pretty much cheaper just to buy a replacement device which you see in front of me. So yeah, brilliant little thing. I definitely recommend you getting one if you're a hobbyist. But before we go on to the build, I just want to do a quick shout out to my mate Fergs. I've been telling him I'm going to be doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, but Fergs has got a YouTube channel called The Combat Golfer. And unsurprisingly, it's about golf. Now, I'm not into golf, uh, but I actually do enjoy watching these videos. And it pains me to tell you that, I have to say. He's got a light-hearted approach to golf. He doesn't take it too seriously. And, you know, he just gives you good hints and tips. And, you know... He, He's Welsh. I mean, that's the only downside. And certainly on a list of my favourite Welshmen, he's probably he's probably in the bottom 5%, if I'm being totally honest. I mean, he's certainly not up there with Richard Button, Tom Jones and, you know, Anthony Hopkins. But uh, definitely go and check him out if golf's your thing, or even if it's not your thing. I'll pop a little card up here and a little button at the end of this video so you can go and check out his channel. He's currently on 187 subscribers, so I'm sure with the power of my little channel, we can definitely get him up to 190. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on to this uh, kit build. So, uh, as you can see, it comes with my favourite uh, type of enclosure, the laser cut acrylic, which has got this horrible paper on it, which takes an eternity to take off. So I'll definitely be pausing the video to prep that. And we actually get the electronics element in this bag. So let's uh, take it out and have a look. Nicely packaged, uh, packaged I should say. It's all uh, sort of taped onto bits of foam to protect the... The, the legs of the sockets and the, well, the sockets, the, the chip itself and the, um, I forget what you call these things, TFX tool. It's basically a, a, a socket that you can you can latch close to, to hold the components secure. Here's a PCB, really nice quality PCB. Um, nice and shiny, nice silk screen on there. Um, yeah, not too bad. And of course we get our component bag which we'll just tear open and see what we get inside. Ah, lovely. It's actually marked, the the values are marked on the carrier tape which is a rare thing to see in these kits. This kit incidentally cost, uh, I think it was 9 99 from Amazon. Of course I'll pop a link uh, down in the description below if you want to go and purchase it. It is an affiliate link so I get a little bit of kickback from Amazon if you if you decide to purchase it. So, tactile switch, I'm not going to go through, I've a few transistors, uh, socket, um, little crystal there, little uh, potentiometer, some caps and stuff. And of course we get the instructions, which is all in English, which again is fairly rare. So there's a, a diagram of the board, the schematic, um, telling you how everything's connected. We've got a component values there. And uh, the instructions, the instructions there on where the components go and you know what, what each bit is. I'm presuming I haven't seen on there. I'm presuming that potential is maybe to adjust the contrast on the LCD. I think it's probably. Does it tell us on here? Is it four four seven eight zero? Um, voltage chip uh, LED. Can't see it. Um, can't see anything on there. Now, I imagine it's just an HD44780. Um, I think it's a standard display. Does it tell us on here? No, but I, ima I imagine it is. Right, okay. How do you want to do this? Um, I think what I'll do is I'll pause the video, get all the boring stuff in, and then we'll come back and finish off the, you know, the interesting stuff and, and give it a test. How does that sound? Okay, Rokes. You want to see it all? No? Okay, I'll pause it. <laughs> see you in a moment. Right, apologies. I got a bit carried away and uh, pretty much uh, did the whole board. Um, just a few more things to go on, which we'll take you through now. First uh, thing we're going to pop in is the LED. Now, I had to look at the board. I wasn't... Uh, sorry, I had to look at the picture of the listing on Amazon just to see how 
far this need to be in it. It's roughly about five or six mils. I don't know if you can get that to focus. Um, five or six mils, mils off the board. So I'm just going to roughly position that at that height. Make sure the leads are, are level. And whilst I was uh, off camera, I did um, prep the acrylic. And we have unfortunately had a, a slight breakage, entirely my fault. Um, I will show you what happened in just a second. Just, so I'm just going to re. I'm just going to uh, solder one of these leads up, and then we'll check the the height. So just pull it down slightly. Yeah, that should do. Make sure it's level, which it is, and we'll tack up the other side. Yeah, one of the one of the pieces of acrylic I test fitted, and unfortunately, it was just a little bit tight, and I was conscious that it was tight, and I did stop and think about um, filing it slightly, and I thought, Jack, it'll be fine, and it unfortunately, it well, it actually went in fine, and then I tried to take it apart, and when I took it apart, it snapped, which was like, a little bit disappointing, but not to worry, not to worry. So we'll pop the switch in here now, get it in the middle. And we'll just bend those leads over. They're quite big holes for the for the size of leads on this. So again, we'll we'll get one side tacked up, and then just test and check and make sure it's uh, level or square, I should say. Um, take enough lot of solder. So that's sitting proud. So I'm just going to reflow that and pop it down. You had that click. That was it go and flush the board so yeah we're all good there and then we'll get some more solder on this side so like I say these taking quite a bit of solder just be careful you don't want to overheat um, overheat the plastic on the switch otherwise it may malfunction and that should do is there I can pop a little uh, button on as well that will cap we'll pop the dc power jacket in now it takes a nine volt um it's a barrel type plug however i'm going to be using it with the a nine volt battery and that sits in there fairly securely grab some more solder and we'll get these uh done i've said it before and i know it's weird but i actually like soldering these in these uh, both electrical and mechanical joints, just I don't know, there's something quite satisfying about it. Let's see, I know I'm weird. <laughs> right, we'll put in this uh, socket now, it goes with the uh, lever to the left hand side. And top tip with these, once you've popped it in, if you just lock it in place, it won't actually fall out because the leads themselves, I don't know if that, the camera's going to pick that up, the leads themselves, so can you see the movement to the right when I'm shutting the... The latch that's basically how it clamps in but it also clamps itself into the board so we'll get that in lock it in place and solder it now we, we do want to have a reasonably large amount of solder on on these connections just because they do flex and um, so this is one instance where I'd, I'd argue for provided you're not getting any shots of course um, this is where I'd argue that you do want more solder you know, more is more rather than more is less, or less is more. So that in any way made sense. So I'll get those soldered up. Spin that around. And to the other side. And there we go. So as you can see there, focus, uh, quite a bit of solder there. And that's not going to move anywhere. Um, any other components still to get in? Yeah, we'll put a little uh, variable resistor in here. Like so. And that's held itself in place. Just check its level, which it is. I'll do the other two connections. There and there. And that's pretty much it on the board. Okay, oh, point to note as well, the um, 
voltage regulator is a smaller package, I forget what size package that is, but it's clearly designed, or the board's designed for the, the larger package, you know, with a flat metal tab, but um, that's what they've supplied, so presumably that is uh, suitable enough for it. Just the, the flat edge goes to the, the end of the board, you can see a, a slight chamfer on the silk screen there. But yeah, you may get that or you may get a different type. So that's the, the board itself complete. Um, we'll just pop this header on the display. Oh, that's too many. 16, so we want to cut it there. It's ricocheted somewhere across the uh, workshop. So we'll just uh, do one, make sure it's level. Again it is. And then we'll quickly do these. Just, uh, that's still hot. Ow. <laughs> Refill that. Okay, so what else is still to go in? We're still to get uh, uh, Atmel, was it? Uh, 328 mega that goes in there we'll get that soldered up and get power on so what i'll do is i'll um I'll, will i pause the video yeah i'll pause the video again i'll get the rest of this soldered up get the power on it and we'll test it and then we'll uh, I'll, I'll assemble the case off camera and then restart the video again if that makes sense so i'll catch you in just a moment okay dogs right that is it all done in terms of soldering um so we'll just pop the display on now like so, and I'll grab a battery. I um, recommend these batteries, these GP, is it Green Power, I think they used to be called. Get these from Amazon, they're about like, four or five quid for, for four, and they're actually really good. I normally use, I think I've said in my uh, channel before, I normally use uh, Duracell Industrial, because in terms of value for money, you know cost per battery versus a life, they're definitely the, the cheapest. And I normally go, if I can't get those, if I can get them, I'll generally go with the cheaper of the two. So if I can get a GP extra cheaper than the Duracell Industrial, I'll get them and vice versa. So we'll pop the battery on and power it and see what happens. So nothing. Okay. So I've got nothing. Ah, oh, wait a second. Um, I'm sure this was what this pot's for. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that on the screen. A bit shadowy. Uh, I'll just... It's basically the pot adjusts the contrast. So hopefully you can see that there. Uh, it tells us the voltage, tells us the battery's okay. So we'll, we'll just power it down. Power it back up a, bit, a little bit closer to the screen. Press that. And now you can see it tests the battery. It's 9.8 volts. No unknown or damaged part. So, um, we'll... Uh, try some bits and pieces so i've got a couple of components here we'll start off with something nice and easy we'll stick a resistor in now um, if you can have a look on here i don't know if you can see it says three two one and that's obviously mirrored on the uh, what do you call it uh, laser engraving on the, the enclosure i've just realized the bit that i broke i put in the wrong way anyway absolute idiot uh, but yeah 321 so that's your, your your pins there's two banks of 321 so we use this right hand we'll just go and pin one and three uh, put the lever down that locks the component in and it's automatically detected something there and it tells it's a 101 kilo ohm resistor so you can see a little icon there between one and three there is a res resistor of 101.6 kilo ohms so that's good because that's what it is. Um, next, we'll try an electrolytic cap. Now I'm just going to trim the lead on this just to get them the same length to make it a bit easier. And we'll go pin one and three this time. And there we go. So it's a 10.3 uh, microfarad capacitor, which it is, millifarad capacitor, uh, ESR of 1.9 ohms and voltage loss of 1.4%. So yeah, it seems to work. And between one and two, yeah, it says it's capacitor. It doesn't tell us it's a polarized or an electrolytic, it just tells it's a capacitor. But that is the value. And there you go. 
Okay, dogs, right, what we try now, we'll try this, I genuinely don't know what this is, I found it on the workshop floor, and as you can tell, it has authentic scuff marks as well. So, we'll pop this in, lock it in place, and there we go, it's a PNP transistor, yeah, forward voltage, 641 millivolts, and it tells us that pin 1, so this end, pin 1, 2, 3, it's base collector emitter. So yeah, that seems to work. And finally, what we'll do is we'll test uh, an LED and see what that does. So it's not detected it, so you can see it's pulsing it. Ah, oh, right. So what's it telling us on there? Certainly it's got a forward voltage of 3.08 volts, current of 4 nanoamps, and capacitance of 17 picofarads. It does detect it as a resistor. It, sorry, it was resistor as a diode, but it doesn't actually tell it's a, an LED. But never mind, it does the job, and clearly you know what an LED looks like. But you can see it's pulsing it, so presumably that's what it's doing to try and work out what the device is. Okay, right, this video is currently at 16 minutes long, so what I'm going to do now, again, apologies for this, I'm going to pause the video, get it in the enclosure, and then uh, we'll have a final look at it and a little bit of my thoughts on it. Catch you in just a moment. Right, finally, that is it, fully built in its case, um, and it's working a treat. Um, the case is actually really nice once it's put together. I quite like the way they've layered up. Uh, you know, obviously, the laser cut this acrylic uh, to basically accommodate the, the pins and the, the LED at the side there. Quite nice, and it sandwiches, sandwiches all together. Give you quite a nice uh, finished design. You can just see up there where I cracked it. A little bit disappointed with that, but you know, it's not going to affect the, the use of the device. Um, I did have to file another couple of these little tabs down uh, quite a bit. I actually had to take a couple of mil off uh, a couple of them just so it would fit together, but it actually went together reasonably well once I'd done that. Oh, the only other thing I was going to do, bear with me, um, something that's not included that I thought might be. Uh, a good idea. These are brilliant. You can get them off uh, eBay for a few quid. Uh, it's just stick some some rubber feet on there on the bottom, just to give it some uh, support. You know, something that's going to take these nuts uh, off the off the workbench and stop it sliding around. So we'll just uh, pop these in place. I think we'll put them there and put the other one there. And there we go. It's not going to not going to slide anywhere. So yeah, that was the KK Moon component tester. Nice little build, um, and you know I think it's it's an ideal addition to your workshop. Nice fun uh, kit to build, and yeah, just uh, will do a job and hopefully help you out in future. I did uh, when I was testing it offline as well, just before uh, after I put it in closure, find out that it will doesn't matter what way you put an LED in as well, it will it will well, any sort of diode it will actually detect it. So there you go, I'm sorry it was a long video and you didn't see much of the build, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with it, and maybe you'll get and get one yourself. As always, there'll be a, a link in the description below if you wish to go and purchase that from my affiliate link. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, please click on my fat head down here. Um, I will mention again, go and check out my mate Fegs's Combat Golf channel if you like golf or if you don't like golf and just like to listen to the ramblings of a Welshman rather than the ramblings of a Scotsman on here. Uh, I'll pop a, a button to his channel somewhere on here as well. And uh, yeah, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.